Welcome and this is our hub identification class. Remember we are trying to identify what God has given us in nature and that which is helpful for us to restore and rejuvenate, alkalize the system. Alongside the natural health laws that God has put in nature, we are able to live a healthy life. So today, we are continuing with the identification of these important herbs. Today we are going to discuss Pinus trobus, that is white pine, that most people grow in their vineyards, in their backyards, and uh, <clears throat> use for timber. Today I want to tell you that this herb is a blood purifier, a wonderful blood purifier. It helps to purify your blood and make your blood circulation to be stirred. Now this is how it looks like. We use the leaves, we use the cones, and we use the bark. Mostly the, uh, the strong concentration of the medicinal properties are in the bark. It has a sap, it has, a, uh, it has the, the tannin, the saponins that are very effective for the treatment of disease. It usually grows in any area so long as there is water in desert areas more so. Uh, we realize that the children of Israel were instructed to plant the cedar, the fir, and the, the cypress. And uh, these are some of the, in, uh, the indigenous in the Bible, indigenous trees that were there before at the beginning. And they're very useful for the health of the system. Herbal actions of this herb is that it is a great expectorant. It means that it dilates your respiratory uh, cells. The circulatory stimulant, it makes blood to go to all parts of the body. It is a male diuretic. It is a pectoral immune stimulant and grief support. If someone is having a problem, uh, uh, maybe having a heavy heart, you take a tea of this uh, and it will be so helpful for you. Uh, we have the leaves. Uh, if you want to use it as an expectorant or a circulatory stimulant, we use the bark and the leaf. You can make a tea out of the bark, uh, decoction out of the bark, or make a, um, a steep out of the leaves and then take it in a glass three times a day. But if you're just using it for boost to boost your health, you just take it once every night before going to sleep. The medicinal properties are, uh, it is specific for respiratory and bronchial complaints. Uh, mostly we use it for uh, respiratory distress. If someone is having bronchitis or asthma attack, you just use a fermentation on the chest that fermentation is where you boil the leaves and when it is hot, you dip a towel there and put on the chest. It is able to start circulation on the chest. And uh, also you can drink it, you can drink it in uh, when it is hot. You can add some cayenne, a pinch of cayenne into it and take. And that is very good for uh, assisting in respiratory distress. A tea of the needles or a decoction of the needles with thin twigs included, the strongest preparation is helpful to promote expectoration and removal and thinning of mucus from the lungs. So if you have a dry cough and you want to break it out, you take the white pine tea. It is suitable for both wet and dry coughs, but when there is dryness, I like to combine it with moist and demulcent herbs, uh, like the peppermint, um, you can also use raw honey in it to help in moistening. Uh, the mullein, the lobelia also will be helpful in that. Use for coughs, colds, bronchitis, laryngitis, uh, croup, that is a, a very serious cough, a pea-sized piece of the peach that can also be chewed to promote expectoration. So if someone is having a cough, a croup or a cough, you can make a strong lung tonic and that is uh, a half a juice half a glass juice of fresh garlic 
half a glass juice of fresh ginger, half a glass juice of, uh, of um, fresh red bulb onion. And uh, you have to use also turmeric, two tablespoons of turmeric powder. And you have one cup of raw honey and uh, you will boil you'll make a seventh power decoction of uh, of the uh, seventh power decoction of the uh, the pine the white pine the seventh power decoction you'll check on my previous presentation on uh, when I was doing cuts glue and then you just make a, a glass of it a cup of that and then add all the ingredients together. After adding all the ingredients together, add a glass of, uh, of warm pineapple juice and 10 drops of peppermint, 10, 10 drops of uh, menthol crystal, 10 drops of, uh, of uh, not 10 drops, sorry, 10 mils of all those essential oils, cloves, peppermint, eucalyptus, uh, or cypress oil, and uh, one tablespoon of menthol crystals, and then you shake it well, put it in a glassy bottle, and drink that in. It will be able to help you a great deal for any problem within the lungs. If you have lung cancer, you have uh, bronchitis, emphysema, all this asthma attack, it will be able to restore the, uh, the respiratory system. It is considered a tissue stimulant as it will stimulate the elimination of mucus by increasing oxygenation to depressed, bogged down mucus and trench mucus. It also relaxes by soothing, cooling and calming irritated and inflamed sinuses and lungs. It is great when the infection seems just stuck and with thick, hardened flame. White pine is a superb growing agent and its resins acts to draw out stagnant mucus by attaching to it and then stimulating its release. It will be effective when there is either dry vicious um, flame that needs to be drawn out or when there is damp loose flame that needs expectoration. Therefore, it acts on both damp and dry condition. That's why we need to have it in our system. It is rich in vitamin C, that is the leaves. If you boil the leaves, you have a lot of vitamin C. The needles are widely known to be extremely high in vitamin C and are a great addition to our tea for the common cold or as a winter immune tea, immunity tea. Once used to treat scurvy, they are actually reported to be five times as high as oranges Per volume in vitamin C, a deficiency of vitamin C can also ne negatively impact their renos as well as the integrity of tissues in the body. <clears throat> so it is a high source of vitamin C. We know that some of the herbs that are good in vitamin C are the white pine. We have the hops, uh, the roses. The roses are very good, high in vitamin C. The needles and twigs also make, make for a fabulous stream for congestion in the lungs. You can do a steam inhalation where you boil the leaves, cover yourself with a, with, with, with a, sorry, a blanket or a, a bed sheet and inhale that. It will be able to, uh, to remove the congestion. The sap is also known as pine pitch or resin. Once it is hardened, has a whole host of topical Application including splinters, sores, boils, sore muscles, and rheumatism, cuts and swelling is sometimes mixed with butter or fat for this. And uh, to remove woody debris and bark that sticks onto collected pitch, gently heat it on low. Now, the, the, the sap is that if you look at a tree, you will find something that piles on the bark. That is the sap I'm speaking about. If you're going to remove a splint, use it. Now, pine or resin pitch also dissolve readily into warmed oils, which is a great way to add it to salve. Warm the collected resin right in the herbal oil you are using as a base for your salve and strain out the woody debris before completing your salve. 
So to make a serve, you can have the, the, the bee wax, you melt it, you can add your olive oil, uh, and then you add the sap. And then after adding the sap, you can use any other nutri any other herb, herbal uh, ingredient. Like you can use dandelion, you can use plantain or senna if you want to make uh, something for your skin. And if you want it to smell well, you can add some good essential oil, like peppermint or lemongrass oil to help in uh, in the removal of boil or splinter or sauce or rheumatism. You apply it on your on your knees to relieve pain. What are the preparation methods we can use? Infusion. Infusion is where we use the leaves, the tender leaves in hot water, and then we cover until it is cool. Infused oils is where we use the uh, the components of the herb into the oil. You, we warm the oil. For example, you can use a large casserole. You put water in it and then boil it up. When the water is boiling up, use another smaller casserole. Add the oil inside there with the leaves or with the powders of these herbs. And then let it just steep for about uh, 20 to 30 minutes. You will have to cover during that time and it will have infused or use the sun infusion method where you put them in a glass you put your oil plus the herb ingredient and then cover put in the sun daily for about six days in the evening you shall be removing in the morning you put it there until evening and it will be able to draw out all the ingredients you can also make perfumes in the perfumes uh, this is where you use the extract of the leaves or use the oil of the leaves of the pine leaves in the carrier oil like castor oil or uh, or olive oil or coconut oil and then you put in a sprayer bottle then that is your perfume uh, you can use it for steaming or bath salts uh, bath salt is where you add salt into these boiled leaves and then you sit on it them on on them you can use honey to make a syrup you boil the leaves in honey for about 30 minutes under low heat and then package it. For salve, I've told us how to make it for chest rub. Now, after making the salve, you will rub it on the chest if you have a chest congestion or pneumonia or asthma attack. For poultices, you, you pound the leaves or the box or use the, the sap and tie it on the inflamed area and it will be able to help you. For decoctions, decoctions where you can crush the leaves and uh, let the leaves stay in water let's say one pound one kilo of the leaf fresh leaves pounded well put in water let it stay overnight and then in the morning you see and drink for the leaves and decoction for the roots and the box the hard box is steeping it not steeping it but letting letting it stay on water one pound one kilo in four four liters of water staying overnight in the morning you'll have to simmer it for about 30 minutes and then you sieve it and store it for syrup and uh, for flavoring food you can use it in adding in your food in your soups in your smoothies to help in uh, easing the way of taking it in now dosages for infusion one tablespoon one cup of water drink freely and apply salve and oil topically freely as needed or steam daily as needed syrup three to four tablespoons a day when acute honey added to teas drink freely uh, and then enjoy freely in foods what are the contraindications avoid tea in high doses if pregnant to high vitamin c content um so some people are are always very uh affected with the vitamin C and so they have just to take it in small doses. So that is all about pine and uh, we look forward to the next presentation. Stay tuned and be blessed.